Right. Okay, question number 18, a histogram question. So we've given a histogram, we've been given the scale of, our, of the weight of the fish along the side, we've got the frequency against the scale upside, but we don't know how much each square is worth. Um, but we do know that the number of fish weight between 400 and 450, this is worth seven more than between 250 and 300 in this bar. So we know that this bar is worth seven more. On the histogram, there's a couple of things you need to remember. To work out the frequency density, you take the frequency and you divide it by the class width. Okay, so it's a formula. It's the first thing you think of. And the other thing you remember is that the frequency is proportional, almost all the cases of GCSE, it's actually proportional, but it's actually equal to the area. So the area of the bar represents some relationship to do with the frequency. Okay, so there's a relationship between those two. So we can see the difference between these bars is that square, oops, this square, this square, and this half a square. So we know that three and a half squares is the difference between those two totals, so the difference in the frequency, and that four that represents seven fish. There's a difference is seven. Okay? So if we sort that out, we can work out quite simply, we could use a calculator, in this case it's not too bad, that one square represents two fish two fishes or whatever the plural is. So each one square represents two fish. That means that we can go ahead and find the area of each of these bars because we can just count the squares now. We've got this. So this one's two, four, six, eight, ten. This first bar has got a frequency of ten. Two, four, six, eight. Well this one's got a frequency of twelve. We knew this top frequency here, but just the top bit was worth 7. So overall, this is worth 2, 4, 6, 8. Plus the 7, this one's worth 15 fish. This bar here is worth, also worth 15. You know it's a different shape, it's still got the same number of squares covering. And this last one is worth 8. So the total number of fish is just going to be the sum of these. So 10 plus 8 plus 12 third bar plus the fourth bar which is 15 plus another 15 and finally the final bar which is 8 and all you want to do is add all of those up and the total number of fish represented in this histogram is 68. This question continues though so I've gone on to the next page so let's just flip onto the next page um, and it says use the histogram to find an estimate from the median. Well, the first thing is, to find the estimate from the median, that means the middle, okay? So we need to remember that the median means we want to find the weight of the middle fish. That's what we want. So we're going to take, there was 68 fish we just calculated, uh, divided by 2. So we want the 34th item, or in this case, the 34th fish. They're already in order, so the 34th, we want to find out where the 34th bit fish is. So if we go back up, which we're going to go this let's count from the bottom. So this first bar is 10 plus 8 plus 12, that adds up to uh, 30. And so the 34th, 34th fish is going to be somewhere in this bar. Okay? So that's where the middle is going to be, in that bar. But we want to work out exactly where in the middle of that bar. So this bar is worth 15. So the bar goes from 400 to 450, and it's 15, and we've got 30, so we want to go 4 into it. So let's go back. Uh, sorry about that. Let's go down again. So that bar that was worth 15. It went from 400 here to 450 here. And we want to go, uh, it's in the fourth bar, we want to go 
four fifteenths. You want to go there was thirty people, thirty fish here leading up to this bar. So we want four fish in here. We want to find out whether four fifteenths fish, four fifteenths into the fourth bar. Well, this bar is fifty wide, so we want to do four fifteenths times fifty. Four fifteenths times fifty gives us thirteen point three recurring. So we want to go 13.3, not all the way to 50, we want to go a little bit into this bar here somewhere. Well, if we start at 400, we need to add that on, so it's going to be 400 plus the 13.3 recurring. So as an estimate, 413 grams for the middle fish, the 34th fish. Now, we've got to explain why this is only an estimate. Okay, so it's an estimate. So where we worked out is we worked out that we had 30 fish up to here. We wanted the 34th fish, which is 4 fifteenths into this bar, a little bit into this bar. But what we assumed, we assumed, we assumed that the 15 fish in this bar, represented by this bar, the 15 fish between 400 and 450 grams. So the 15 fish in this bar were equally equally spaced uh, out. So equally distributed. So the technical term for it is the word distributed. So you may see that if you look at the masking. So we assume that the 15 fish, to get the 14 fish, we assume they are equally spaced out between the 400 and the 450. Okay, so therefore it's only an estimate because that it might not be. They might all weigh really heavy, they might be scattered around, or they might all be really light, but they would still be existing as far. So we just pretended they were all spaced out.